Hello everyone, in this video I will show you the performance comparison between these two machines that are running macOS. Um, the first one, this one on the, on the left, is running an AMD uh, S7100X, which is a mobile GPU. It is recognized as, um, I think it's gonna show up as a radio, oh, okay, so Radeon HD Tonga which is the actual cheap file name, uh, cheap name, uh, unknown prototype computer engine. So this uh, GPU is um, is uh, re easily found on a uh, wstore.sk uh, for 20 euros, and it has 8 gigs of, of RAM. So this GPU is, a, is an insane value. Um, we're gonna compare it to the one on the right, which is a K3100M which is the like default GPU for this machine. It's a Kepler uh, Quadro card. It also runs on Mac OS, uh, but only up to Big Sur. You can then um, use Open Core Legacy Patcher to actually take the Kepler drivers also to Monterey. And so it will also run on Monterey, but I didn't want it to, to patch any, any drive for this to, to run. So, um, I will now compare the performance. This is already finished in one minute, and this one is still going, and it's gonna be quite a long time before it finishes, because actually in OpenCL performance, uh, the, the NVIDIA card is like one-fourth of the AMD one. While gaming performance, the AMD card is double the performance. On compute performance, uh, as long as you're running Metal or OpenCL, the performance is like four times for the AMD card. Um, so uh, let's go a little bit deeper on this uh, on, the, on the left side. So here on the system information, you can read as a 380x, and you can also see that you also have the uh, Intel graphics enabled. So the Intel graphics is uh, driving the monitor actually, and the AMD GPU is doing the compute workloads uh, on Windows. You can also run games on this by GPU pass-through, just as you would on any laptop. So the Intel GPU is always driving the, the internal display, and the AMD one is always running uh, the external displays and the computer part. But on Windows, you can also run the internal GPU, uh, the dedicated GPU, through the integrated GPU to the internal display. Uh, but that doesn't work on macOS, so you cannot like do that on macOS uh, apparently. I actually, I don't, I didn't even try to test it, but it's supposedly not happening. But yeah, I can test it, test it with the Fortnite later. And so this machine has um, graphic, acceler graphic acceleration going on, of course, and also the Intel HD graphics is doing the encoding and decoding because the encoding and decoding part of the Tonga GPU of the which is a G GCN th third revision, GCN, GCN3 or 1.3 or whatever you want to call it. Um, his media engine encoder is not supported on macOS because all the Macs that came with that kind of uh, AMD card relied on internal graphics from the Intel chip to actually do the encoding. Like it's called quick sync. And that is something that you have to be aware about. Uh, this machine, mm, I couldn't get the display, in, the inter internal display to run with the AMD card as the um, only card because this machine has a, a physical switch for the GPU so you can actually connect the internal MXM uh, slot to the display but I couldn't get the picture out with the, this mode. Maybe it's possible, maybe we, I need another BIOS for this uh, but I couldn't, couldn't get it working but even if it did you would lose the the Intel Quick Sync functionality, so I would not recommend this to, to happen. Oh, so on the right, we have the, the results. So as you can see, the compute score, well, it's like, yeah, it's roughly between one third and one fourth of the AMD card. So th of course, this machine is also set up in the same way. You can also see that from the Geekbench pay, um, application. You can see that both graphics cards are working. Uh, oh, also, both cards are undervolted on the core and overclocked on the RAM memory. I think on the left I also have a slight overclock on the core because it's running at uh, yeah, 7, 
167 megahertz the default clock for this card is 725 and on the left we have I don't know if you can actually read it but let's see yeah it's running it's very similar actually <laughs> just the 9 is is like rotated so this is slightly overclocked I think because it was driving much less power so yes this GPU is uh, is by default it's drawing less power and even in its current state I think it's drawing slightly less power I'm, I'm quite sure about that actually but of course the performance is much lower and the, it only has 4 gigs of RAM I will now run, run uh, Luxmark and see the performance with that benchmark the default mode for Luxmark is running on both GPUs at the same time and the very interesting thing that I found out by doing this uh, test is that the Iris Pro, which is actually not an Iris Pro in this machine, it's a HD 4600, is almost as powerful as the Quadro K3100M in OpenCL with Luxmark. <laughs> so um, I decided to run the, the, the dedicated GPU, the MXM GPU alone to better compare the performance, because if you didn't, the HD 4600 score would add up at the same level and like flatten a bit the results. Um, I think I got a 4000 versus 11,000 when I was running with the Intel graphics, while the GPUs alone are scoring to three, almost 3000 versus almost 9, almost 9000. So the Intel HD is about 1500, roughly, a score. No. I maybe I remember I'm not remembering correctly. Well let's see how it ends actually. And so yeah again this is to prove that the AMD card is so much better at computing at compute tasks. And it's actually a super incredible bad gain if you can get one of those car those machines for cheap, which they usually run around four hundred euros. You have a very nice display, uh, quite capable four core CPU. It has uh, three internal drives plus the uh, CD-ROM drive, so you can actually have four drives inside of the machine because there's two SSD with the SATA, one M SATA port, which is getting like very hard to find on the market right now, but it, it's, uh, it's here and you can find maybe some 2056 drives for cheap on eBay. And then there's the CD drive, so you can run four drives. Okay, here it is finishing. It did finish. Oh, for some reason, I think it still run on the. Oh, I can tell now, on an iGPU. Mm, maybe I got it wrong actually. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. So the score is still like you can see it's four thousand versus ten thousand. So the score are pretty higher, pretty much higher than the test that I did before. I don't know, but yeah. It's supposedly not running on the Intel Intel graphics now. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's still, whatever it is, it's still more than double, almost three times the performance for the AMD card. I will do then a video comparing the um, gaming performance. And I will also try to run um, games on this, on macOS, and see whether the internal graphics or the AMD card is being used to run Fortnite. And so, we'll hear next. Ciao!